induced fit model according to the induced fit model the active site of an enzyme is dynamic not static it means enzyme changes the shape of its active site to let the substrate molecule fit in it and then starts the reaction to form the product Let's take a closer look at how this happens. When the substrate molecule binds to the enzyme, it forces the enzyme to change the shape of its active site. The enzyme then changes the shape of its active site according to the structure of substrate. This change in the conformation of active site allows the enzyme to get more tightly bind with the substrate. The enzyme keeps changing its shape to ensure a tighter fit with the substrate until the product forms. Induced fit model explains the working of enzyme in a better way. Therefore, it is highly accepted model of enzyme action. Induced fit model is different than the lock and key model. Although lock and key model was the earlier model of enzyme action, but it flunked to explain the enzyme substrate interaction in the transition state. The transition state is an in between stage and it occurs just before the product formation completes. In lock and key model, it was thought that shape of the active site of an enzyme is static. It perfectly matches the shape of substrate and does not change. But later, when the transition state was divulged, this model stumbled to explain it. The induced fit model better explained the flexibility of enzyme to change its shape, which allows it to better fit with the substrate. This model was named induced fit model because the substrate molecule induces the enzyme to change its shape for tighter attachment with it. That is it for today's video. Make sure you are subscribed to the Science Entertaining. Like and share this video if you want to help others. Stay tuned. I will see you in the next video.